Based on how much Justine's been mouthing off on her podcast lately, seems like what you're doing is working. Not that I had any doubt. And with WrestleMania right around the corner. What are you thinking? I think it's time I stop avoiding Justine. The two of us need a face-to-face, -face, and I know exactly where to do it. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up, Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know, you were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See, after the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure. They threw praise on your name after you retired, when management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame, or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about, that you're mad at, for all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target. Because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could, have opportunities that you never would have been given, and see how far I can really go. And you? Justine, you're a legend. The best of her time. Maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. But the fact that you'll never know when I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. You ungrateful piece You're a of... selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then. Because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. It'll be me at WrestleMania. I've still got it. <laughs> sure, you've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You're planning on stealing my title tonight? Your title? I excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. 
I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be, you know what, never mind. If you mean, do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match, especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there, too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me, though. I don't know, kids. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once-trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars. We are just built different. Thanks. I think... I'm still not happy it's you and not me out there. But I do have a shared interest in seeing Justine lose the championship tonight. If she hadn't been in the dark pod, I would still be champion. So, good luck, I suppose. How big-hearted of you. I'm just benevolent like that, I guess. Besides, you helped me with Stephanie. You were the only person who told it to me straight when everyone else was conspiring against me. Hey, I was right back when you started and I said we could be friends after all. Huh, I guess you were. You know, that's actually kind of sweet. And hopefully, I'll get to rightfully reclaim the championship from my friend very soon. If you win, your days as champion are already numbered. And there's the dewdrop I know. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. I don't know if that's possible. Justine gets bent out of shape about everything. You saw how she reacted when I dredged up her past and all the things that bother her. Hey, you're not perfect either, LJ. No one's forgotten what you did to your tag team partner. Point taken. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I know you can make it on your own. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together, that would be something both the friend and the fan in me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. Here she is, making her WrestleMania debut. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dr. Britt Baker to basically grow up in WWE, then to appear at WrestleMania against your aunt who brought you in? You couldn't write a better story. This isn't just a match, it's a therapy session with suplexes, submissions, and strikes. Justine is back on the grandest stage of the ball. And introducing the champion, Justine! This certainly isn't the first time she's been on the big stage, but for Justine, this WrestleMania will be like no other as she squares off against her own niece. You might worry that Justine might hold back at some point as maternal or protective instincts or whatever take over, but I'm fairly confident she doesn't have any of those, so this is gonna be fun. A charged atmosphere as we get set for a SmackDown Women's title match.
It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all, and it doesn't get any more heart-wrenching than a battle between beloved relatives turned bitter rivals. And that's exactly what we've got at Wrestle Freaking Mania for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Every generational grudge match has led to this. It goes back a lot further than that, Saxton. A lifetime of idolizing her legendary aunt culminates here in this explosive showdown. What's going to happen here? Knee right to the back. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Oh, my God, to the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. Punishing stretch. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old air raid siren. I don't know how you survived that. Oh, oh caught the chin. I love this one of my favorite moves of all time. The modified surfboard's locked in. High risk. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Look at this! Somersault plancha! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Straight into the barricade. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. The rapid shots right to the gut. Oh, man. Uh, Backbreaker. She's climbing to the top turnbuckle. She's calling for it. On the top. Good Lord. Taking flight. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Series of boots. Justine got out of dodge. Dodge is the attack. Just a smidge quicker. She's compromised. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here in the announce desk. What a mess. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Oh, gosh. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. The champ in a worst case scenario. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Boom and suplex. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. needs to return to the ring and fast. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? Oh, oh man, what a clothesline. That one's scouted. What a punch! Bullseye! Oh, measuring their opponent. 
opponent, little gut wrench. Into the Yoko Suka cover. She pops the shoulder up in one. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. Into the corner now. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. Well, Steve! She comes up empty. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Byron, you ain't good at geography. I know what this is. Tell me what it's gonna take to put her away? Ah. Getting tossed. Ah. She wants to put an end to things here. No! Summer some plunge out of the floor. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. <laughs> exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Shoes on. It might be time to clear out. She's able to get out of the way. Arm trap. Oh, one after the other. Oh. Broken up with a fist to the face. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Ooh. Justine's tied up here. Famouser. So much damage inflicted. What does she have in mind? Hoist it up, oh my gosh. Sorry. That is what you call a game changer, gentlemen. Uh, I can't believe, I'm, I am at a loss for words right now, truly. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Uh, are we gonna see it? There it is! It's your favorite move, Saxon. A beast fight! Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Heart and guts don't matter. Can she take much more? Hold on, maneuvers herself out. She's set 
flying into the corner. This won't end well. Made her pay for her mistake. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. She's up on that top turnbuckle. Off position in top rope, heading up there. This is not gonna be good. Could be catastrophic. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Back to to get out of harm there. She's got her in her clutches. Famous on it. The superstar building incredible momentum. Come on, this is and that proved to be well telegraphed. Look at this, just unloading. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. Oh! Bam. Oh, she fights Justine back. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. now. Put into the corner now. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Superstar in the past, she's now cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they've had, then anyone can do it. Look out! What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind! It may be the end of this rivalry, but this champion's story in WWE is just getting started. To be fair, I never explicitly said I wouldn't be, but we're getting off track. Our ruthless digressions listeners don't want us to dig up the past. They want to hear what was going through your mind in that second impromptu WrestleMania match. Besides, I was in your corner for that match. So Only because you also apologized previously. Let's not forget that. I'm a pro wrestler, which means I'm all about long-term storytelling. So no, I didn't forget. It's called selective memory, and it's not relevant to this conversation. Honestly, I don't blame Ava for what she did. I would have done the same. And I don't blame her for pressuring Molly to give her an opportunity for my SmackDown Women's Championship. I'll face her and win, eventually. Maybe after Ava pays some dues. 
So if Ava's not your first challenger, what's next? Or who's next for the SmackDown Women's Champion? Who do you think your biggest competition is? Hmm, good question. You know, it could be someone already in the locker room or someone who's still making their way to WWE. There are more talented wrestlers getting opportunities to show their skills than ever before. That's for sure. We've come a hell of a long way. Still a long way to go, too, but we've got to start somewhere, right? And if I've learned anything from you, it's that you can't keep waiting for the gatekeepers to give you permission. You have to fight for what you want. And I'm looking forward to the fight that the superstars of tomorrow bring. When they're ready, I'll be ready, too. Well, you heard it here first, folks. The SmackDown Women's Champion is issuing an open challenge and is ready to fight absolutely anyone who wants to take the championship off her hands. Justine, that's not what I said. It's kind of what you said. You're totally twisting my words. I heard what I heard. I can't defend against everyone. Seems like what someone who was scared would say. Ooh, I hope you betray me again. Just so I can beat you again. Name the time and place. One betrayal coming right up.